Joining us now on the program are a couple of board members from the Shades of Pink Foundation. We're joined by Kevin Browett, who is a board member, as well as the board president, Mary Pat Myers, as they have a very exciting event coming up at the Detroit Zoo that will go a long way to help a lot of people right here in Oakland County and beyond. Thank you both for being with us today. Thank you, Todd, for having us. Yeah, glad to have the both of you on today's program. Mary Pat, let's start with you. Just tell us, uh, just for those that aren't familiar with the Shades of Pink Foundation, we've had you on the program a couple of times, but for those that don't know about your organization, what is the Shades of Pink Foundation and what do you do to support people in our local area? The Shades of Pink Foundation is a, um, a, an organization that serves nine counties in Southeast Michigan. And our our mission really, I hope, says it all in that we are here to reduce financial stress for those undergoing breast cancer treatment in Southeast Michigan for everyday living expenses. So what we do is we raise funds through our generous donors, sponsors, and supporters um, to help assist those undergoing breast cancer with those everyday living expenses, such as mortgage payments, transportation payments, which you know, with gas prices, it's it's a huge expense. Child care, insurance premiums, utilities. Um, oftentimes what happens is uh, those undergoing breast cancer treatment um, find themselves in financial distress and often have to make the choice of whether or not to uh, go to treatment, uh, have surgery, get their medication, or pay the mortgage. And Shades of Pink is here to help alleviate that stress um, so they can concentrate on their families and on healing. And Kevin Browett also joins as a board member as well with the Shades of Pink Foundation. You have a really fun event coming up. Everyone enjoys taking a day uh, either individually or with the family or both going to the Detroit Zoo in Royal Oak. And uh, a great experience coming up a week from Saturday, Saturday, April 29th, from 7 a.m. to noon at the Detroit Zoo. Tell us about this event and how it differs from, a, from another day, another regular day at the Detroit Zoo. Well, you know, it's a great question, Tyler. And, and as Mary Pat said, we're really there to support, you know, those individuals that uh, we care for with Shades of Pink Foundation. So the uniqueness about the event is we, we've had this event for 18 years and we're very proud of it. It's our, our capstone event. It's really what we utilize to raise the majority of our money during the course of the year. And what you really get out of this event is the ability to be with other board members, but also survivors and those that have benefited from the program. Because we find that when a woman is affected with, the, you know, with breast cancer or a male, you know, uh, that there are children involved as well. So when you go to the walk at the zoo, you get a chance to really feel the energy and the excitement of what we've been able to accomplish helping these families because they're there. We have over a thousand individuals that have walked They'll be there to cheer like their survival. They'll be there to cheer with their families, the difference that we were able to make with each other. And it really makes you realize that every dollar you invest in something like this turns out helping these families. So you help women, you help men, you help children. Uh, and it really gives you a feeling like none other. You, you know where your money went when you can like hug someone that's been been cared for from Shades of Pink Foundation. So that's really the difference that you just don't get. It, it, it's a very bonding type event. And just as a, a, as a bit of a tangent, Kevin, you as a board member, how have, I'm not sure how long you've been involved with the organization, but 18 years this event's been going on. It's obviously grown over that time, as you said, uh, over a thousand people showing up to the to this you know five or so hour event at the Detroit Zoo in past years. So for you as a board member, seeing this grow and seeing both survivors and, and their family members and just regular people in the community coming out to support this cause, for you as a board member, how does that feel to see just how big of an impact your work and Mary Pat's work and the rest of the board and this organization is doing here in, the, in our community? It's enormous. It, it's, it, you know, Mary Pat and I were talking about this, we're talking about it all the time. It's one of those where often when you get involved in organizations, you wonder if you make a difference. And I think in today's world, you want to know that whatever you do, whether it's with your time or your money, that it actually benefits something tangible. And 
with shades of pink and what they do and how we do it as a board member. I, I see that every day. I just had an email before we came on the air from a group uh, up in central Michigan that is donating over $30,000 and is going to be at the walk and is just sharing what an impact it has for them to be involved because they know they're able to see the result. And like I said, there's nothing better than walking into an event like the, the zoo walk and being able to hug somebody and have someone come to you and say, like, thank you. You really made a difference to me and you made a difference to my family and to my children. And that's what what better feeling can you have as a human being than to have that? And I'm sure Mary Pat would say the same thing. I've been I've been there not quite a year. So Mary Pat uh, precedes me. And so, Mary Pat, moving over to you, that uh, we, we know about uh, w some of what the organization does in general, but those costs that you help to, to offset with, with these individuals and with these families that sometimes are going through it for years uh, when it relates to, to certain cancers, especially breast cancer, what are some of those costs that people may not be thinking about that are covered through your organization, the ways that you help individuals? Yeah, so um, to example of cost would be a, a mortgage payment or a lease payment. Um, our client's average mortgage payment is around $750 to $1,000. Uh, and so, uh, so there's the mortgage, the lease, the transportation cost. And, and it's not only the, the cost of gas, but it's also maintenance of their vehicle or... Um, or providing for other transportation, child care, especially during COVID, was a really significant cost because now the children were home, and you know the mom has to go out and get treatment. And um, oftentimes we heard the stories that they were missing treatment because they couldn't find and couldn't afford child care, utilities. You know, a huge part of our um, our part. But mortgage and um, and housing costs are the largest expenses that we do pay. And so for people that want to participate, who can participate, who should participate, and you know, do, they, do they have to do that just as a group, as an individual, or can they participate as a group as well? For the zoo walk? Yeah. 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 Well, it means to Mary Pat can answer as well. You know, uh, anyone can participate in the walk, you know, and you can go to our website at www.shadesofpinkfoundation.org and uh, there's a sign up there for the walk. You can sign up as an individual walker. You can also sign up. Uh, we had a, a team yesterday of 85 individuals that signed up, you know, which is amazing. It's great. Uh, you can also sign up to be a sponsor. There's different sponsorship levels. And uh, we love when companies get together and host teams. We love when families get together, like, you know, our family's hosting a team at the walk. And uh, so, but any individual can show up and, and walk with us and become part of uh, really just an amazing event. And, and it all happens on April 29th. That is a Saturday, 7 a.m. to 12 noon in Royal Oak at the Detroit Zoo. You can find more information on Shades of Pink Foundation's website uh, just, and actually find the, in, the info on the event, too. Uh, as it's happening in just a little while here, just a week from Saturday this coming week, shadesofpinkfoundation.org. If you just click to their events page at the top, that'll nav help you navigate to Shades of Pink Foundation, a walk at the zoo, and you can participate and register as well as an individual or as a group and participate in this event. And it's not just a walk through the zoo, Mary Pat. There's, plen there's plenty of other activity that's going to be happening there that day. It's a really fun day out at the Detroit Zoo. So what else can people expect as they're coming out here to support a good cause and to have a whole lot of fun at the zoo? Yeah, it really is a lot of fun. So we have uh, several dance companies that are coming in to perform for us. And then we have, you know, like the cappuccino man, you know, to get the coffee. And I don't know if we're doing the mimosa cart this year or not, but um, that's always been. <laughs> um, there's an area that if you want to, um, you know, write something in memory of someone. There's a, a chalk area. Um, and th there's a lot of activity going around the big tent. We have vendors that we have over 15 vendors that will be there and contributing back to Shades of Pink. And we have a DJ and it really is. It's a great festive time. And then you can spend the rest of the day at the zoo with your family and friends and um, 
And like Kevin said, it's a very emotional uh, day, whether you're a breast cancer survivor, a patient, a caregiver, or just you know, fan, anyone who wants to support the cause, because um, I believe we've all been touched by breast cancer. Um, I always get asked, I have personally not been, but my family um, members have, and I have friends, and, uh, and it's just such an amazing cause, and you come out and um, it really is, you enjoy the the camaraderie of others and support the cause. More information and ways to participate in Shades of Pink Foundation beyond their walk at the zoo on Saturday, April 29th can be found at shadesofpinkfoundation.org. That's also where if you click on their events page, you'll be able to find more information on their walk at the zoo event and register to participate as well. Again, the event Saturday, April 29th, 7 a.m. until 12 noon at the Detroit Zoo in Royal Oak right here in Oakland County. Joining us on the program today is Mary Pat Myers, the board president, as well as board member Kevin Browett from the Shades of Pink Foundation. A couple more minutes with both of you before we'll need to wrap things up today. Anything else we haven't talked about about this event or other things and other ways that people can uh, help the Shades of Pink Foundation now and in the future? You know, I, I'll add a couple, and I'm sure Mary Pat will add a few as well. I, you know, we have other events during the course of the year. We do two amazing golf events in the fall time frame that are really a lot of fun, and they're they're both available on the website that you can begin to register or become a, a sponsor, which would be amazing. And it's a lot of fun, and they, and they happen in that September October time frame that supports breast cancer month. And uh, at the same time, we're always looking for volunteers. I mean, we're one of the groups where if you really want to make a difference by being either a board member or belong to a committee, this is a group that really is an active board. We, we are able to maintain giving back almost 100% of what we bring in to those that need the funds because our board is so active and is so great at volunteering. So if you want to volunteer, uh, come to the website, send us a message, call us, and we're excited to always have new individuals join the team and be part of what we do and make a difference. Mary Pat? Yeah, and I just wanted to say that we're so grateful for all the donors that we um, have had and continue to have in growing the organization, and we do. We are so grateful for the time and treasure of our donors and our volunteers. More information can be found on shadesofpinkfoundation.org. Again, their walk at the zoo event is on Saturday, April 29th. That is from 7 a.m. until 12 noon at the Detroit Zoo in Royal Oak. Shadesofpinkfoundation.org, the place to go. $35 for adults, $25 for children and teen, that, teens, that's age 6 to 17. And little ones, $10. Anyone under 2 years of age does get in for free. Those prices do change. However, this weekend on Sunday the 23rd, they go up about $10 a pop each way. So make sure you get your registration done early. Get it done this week. And then next weekend, you'll have a whole lot of fun at the Detroit Zoo. Kevin, Mary Pat, thank you both for being with us. Thank, thank you. you.